Hello, ladies and germs. Ew. <laughs> I don't like that. You don't like that saying? You <laughs> really don't. Well, this is Coffee with Crachel. <laughs> germs with Crachel. <laughs> germs with Crachel. I'm... Uh, I couldn't think of a name of a germ. <laughs> I don't want to be a germ. <laughs> you know, I watched that one binge on YouTube. God, clean your space. Yo, you guys, here's a YouTube recommendation for you. If you want to learn how to really deep clean your house and learn how disgusting it already is, you need to watch this girl's channel. She makes cleaning really fun. Oh my god. <laughs> clean your space. Uh, I, honestly, I will fucking tweet the goddamn link to her channel on the Coffee with Rachel Twitter after this episode. And that's Coffee what? W. Rachel <laughs> Where are you Twitter. going with this? I couldn't remember what our Twitter was. <laughs> All right, well, uh, this is episode 46, uh, you know... That's an age. Yeah, we are, we're getting not really close to retirement, you know, we're... We're still doing We life. are in our midlife crisis, you know, I think this is the time where we should really change the show, just completely do something new, let's buy a motorcycle, you know, <laughs> like... What would be, like, the equivalent of buying a like motorcycle or a convertible or some shit but like in a podcast way like all of a sudden <laughs> introducing i don't know like a really wacky jingle but like midway through yeah. i mean honestly <laughs> introducing advertisements <laughs> yeah. that was a twist oh on shit on the gold classic let's you know put in how would you put in a ringback tone? Because, oh. you know, that's something that, like, you know, the older folks that, you know, are going through midlife crises, they have some ringback tones. I'm looking at you, Dad. <laughs> I really want to bring back the ringback tone. Honestly, why did they go away? <laughs> that was a staple in the early 2000s. Like, you it knew was. you were getting that night and weekend call. You're calling <laughs> up your friend. It's, like, 9.05. You're like, yes. And you hear, like... Survivor by Destiny's Child, and you're like, yes. Like, you had to pay, like, a dollar or something to have a ring back Did tone. you have them? No, I never did, because, like, I wasn't allowed to have any bells and no. whistles. Back then, I had, uh, like, the pays you go, like, Virgin Mobile phone kind of thing. Oh, you so, were trash. Yeah. <laughs> I just you. I would see those sad commercials for those types of phones, I'm like, wow. I'm just kidding. Listen. <laughs> I had... Everybody had, like, the LG chocolate and shit, and I had, like, the Vir or, uh, Virgin Mobile, like, knockoff version of, like, all of the phones, the sidekick and shit. I had a Crazer. Yeah. It was a Razer, but even skinnier. It honestly did look like a Razer. Even crazier. <laughs> and I had the red one, and there were so many cool Tetris games that I would play on that fucking phone. Yeah. We were just talking about locked texts. Now, if you're oh listening to this, yeah. I just want to... By the way, we're drinking pumpkin spice wawa because we don't have anything else right now, so... For the first time, we've caught up with what you binchos have sent to the box, so now we're It only just, took us like six months. <laughs> now we're repeating, but we got so pumpkin spice. if you have a coffee sitting around and you want to send it our way, hit up the P.O. box. The address is in our Twitter bio. But yeah, let's talk about... Uh, lock text, yeah. because that's something that doesn't exist on iPhones um, or smartphones. It used to be a feature in your regular phone, and you could have a text that would just stay in your phone. And particularly, it's usually a funny text. Yeah, I remember... You screenshot things. I remember that, like, in both of our phones, like, the tops of our conversations, like, if you scrolled all the way back, it was just, like, the locked texts that we had that were just, like, really fucking funny. And I would just love to go back and, like, read them, and we try to remember the context, and it's so funny. And you don't really have that now, because you take a screenshot, but, like, I'm constantly deleting photos and screenshots yeah, off yeah. my phone, so... You know, saving the memories is not really possible anymore. We need to really look up and remember... <laughs> Wait. Speaking of that, it made me think though, when like a little bit ago we were we went on Facebook and we were like gonna go all the way back to the very beginning of our uh, conversations that we had because Rachel started flirting with me via Facebook. I fucking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So like we wanted to go back up and see like what. A how, what like, it was. How cringy our conversations were, basically. Guys, but I really wanted to. I was 
really terrified, but also really excited. But, like, the chat didn't go back past, like, 2012. And why? Why? We've had Facebook since, like, 2008 or, like, You're 2007. telling me Facebook can't have the fucking money to back up, like, my conversations from way back in 2010 and shit? But I hear that if you say some unrest about it in your Facebook status... Um, Mark Zuckerberg will come down and he will ha- single handedly change the code so that your oh. dreams will come true. If you right. just copy and paste this. Yeah, because you know, the status box on your Facebook is a legally binding document. And so therefore. Not even that. Like, it physically changes code. Like, yeah. you could just write, like, six other moms shared this post and I'm agreeing. And, like, literally, that's binary in some world. And it just changes Facebook's code, and then all of a sudden, now there's so many dislike buttons, you know? Yeah, wow. (laughs) It's amazing. Oh my god. How did uh, Facebook, like, figure out this technology? It's so advanced. I don't know. It's probably when they bought Instagram, but then they didn't make it big. Like, we got two apps for Facebook, but Instagram is still tiny. I'm never gonna get it. Instagram still can't have multiple accounts logged in. That one really bugs me. Can't have an iPad app. You can't mute people on Instagram. And I get it. Like, you don't need to mute people because you can unfollow them. But at the same time, if you don't want to cause an argument, or if somebody's posting, like, a ton of shit in a row, like, on that particular day, because it'll be like, I'll be on Twitter, for instance, and someone will be having this long-ass thing, and I'm like, I don't feel like seeing this right now. It's taken up. But I can unmute them and be like, now they're back. Or... If someone all of a sudden is like, I'm about to go in on everything about the new Star Wars movie, and yeah, I haven't exactly. seen it yet, I'll just mute them I muted fast. so many people when Star Wars came out. Yeah, it's a great feature. So, Instagram needs that. It's How- like, yes, we get it. You took a fucking photo shoot in a cornfield, and you have to post all 11 dusty-ass photos from this cornfield right now. <laughs> In a row, and I'm just trying to see a lot more cats and food, and so I can just mute you instead yeah. of being, like, cornfield. Got it. More cornfield. It always there... comes back to corn. It really does. <laughs> corn with Krachel. Oh, fuck. It always comes back to Interstellar, if you think about it. Speaking about old people and technology, though, this is, like, something that happened earlier. Like, my dad, uh, he started doing a... Facebook photo challenge ah, for a week, you know? Oh, uh, God, I can't remember what it is. It's like... Honestly, I'm about to look. Something that makes you happy or something like that, but it's supposed to be like a week of just posting a photo every day. I haven't checked to see if he's been holding up to this, but you oh, know... Oh, you know I'm on it. You know I'm on it. <laughs> but we were saying... which dad is this? It's Bob. Okay. Oh, it would be Bob. Yeah. He's a... He's such a clam. But uh, we were just talking about... How people of our age, we're not, like, tending to stick up with, like, our photo challenges. We'll give up after the first couple of days, I've you know? never fucking done I've one. I've never finished one. And so, but, like, the Facebook users of the 40s and 50s, like, year olds, not from the 40s and 50s. Yeah, back <laughs> they, in our day. They, they're, like... <laughs> Facebook is law, and, like, Facebook is so serious, and if you say you're gonna do a challenge, you better fucking do it, or else, like, that's really We're calling bad. you out. They're gonna, you're gonna get called out. I really do believe it. Well... So what's the challenge? The challenge is, um, to post a picture of nature each day oh, for nature. seven days. Um, and so, I love how... <laughs> He nominates Nicole, and he doesn't nominate you. Like, oh my God, he fucking wow. dragged you. Like, Wow, I'm the one with the meteorology degree. <laughs> wow. If anyone's going to take a photo of nature, it's going to be you. <laughs> well, well, they know, because, like, honestly, we're just taking pictures of cats. Can you and... please comment on it and be like, wow, thanks for not tagging me in this photo chat. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. Oh, um, shit. So the first photo was this gorgeous orange moth. Um wonderful i think that's his hand yeah so that's pretty fucked up because i have a big fear of moths as okay yeah nobody probably knows i actually don't think i brought this up on the podcast before but any co- you know okay let me just rewind rewind mm, rewind you gotta put that rind back on that <laughs> watermelon guys it's saturday <laughs> let me live so <laughs> What was I getting to? Oh, mods. On Tumblr, there's, like, this weird genre of fucking weirdos <laughs> that, that post, like, 
Castel Moth. Like, I'm definitely not making this up. Like, I know it's like, hey, that sounds fake, but no. People will post, like, fluffy moths, and, like, they'll just be on a fucking wall, like, slapped up against it. And it's like... It's too large to be a bug. It's not a fucking bird. Like, when you first <laughs> see it, you're like, it's a bird. It's not a bird. I don't like it, especially when they're hairy. Yeah. Oh, and, like, people are like, oh, look at this cute moth. Like, they do, like, weird heart eye emojis and shit. And I'm like, oh honestly, God. fuck you and your moth. I block every single post I see. There's, like, a button on Tumblr now that's, like, ignore this. I'm like, yes. And it, then it's, like, posts like this. I'm like, yes. Get, <laughs> yeah. get them all out of here. Anyway. Well, when you say something is going on weird on Tumblr, I expect, like, the weirdest, because Tumblr's a weird place. Did it. Tumblr, no, Tumblr. <laughs> um, he did do day number two, which is oh, today, shit. and it says... Oh, it's a wood... It's a tree stump. Wow, yeah. that's the word, tree stump. It's a wood... <laughs> <laughs> it's a wood stump. <laughs> um, okay, so every day of the challenge, he chooses a person to tag... Oh. He tagged another person that wasn't you. <laughs> I hope it gets to day seven and he tags me. <laughs> I will step outside to take a picture of a leaf. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Honestly, I dare you to text him and be like, you know. No, I'm, I'm going to wait till the end. If he doesn't tag me, I'm going to be like, wow, I'm really upset That was really upsetting me. that you didn't give me the chance to do. I bet your sister will tag you, though, if she does it. Oh, let's check if she did it. Oh, God. Is she, like, once you're tagged, like. It, you, have you have to do it, otherwise you'll get kicked off the internet. I don't think... No. No, she hasn't done it. Wow. She's straight up giving him the cold <sighs> shoulder. Wow. You know, it's like those email chains. If you don't forward that email to 20 people, you Someone are... Someone will die. You are going to get your internet taken down, like... Do you think we should tell the podcast what we're doing in The Sims? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I guess... Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, this is no, a, we can't do that. Um, so... As you guys know, probably not actually, I love The Sims 4. I mean, I've always been a slut for Sims games, and Chris has never really been into them. But I could sit there for like a billion Hear years. Hear the animosity a in house. your tone. As yeah. You say that. This is a similar topic to like Gushers. It really just, <laughs> it doesn't make any fucking sense. Um,. So, he will play The Sims with me, and, like, we'll design really pretty houses, because we are basically fixer-upper, but in the pixelated form, because we're trash and we're poor. Um, and I've lately kind of upped the ante for my aesthetic, and I'm doing something to a house that truly has gotten Chris interested in the game for once and for all. Yeah, so we were trying to, like, go for, like, somebody to live in, like, a gothic house, you know, that's, like, really old and mansion-y and stuff. Because we've been doing a lot of industrial renovated factories into beautiful modern industrial lofts. Yes. Um, a lot of exposed brick and concrete. But we decided that we wanted to do something a little bit more grand, and so then, like, you had randomly downloaded this, like, Halloween thing that gave you, like, headstones and caskets and just other, spider like... Spider webs. Spider webs and this funny little skeleton guy that's popping out of the ground. Kind of looks like spooky trombone dude. <laughs> it's supposed to look like one of those things you, like, put in your front yard, but it's trash. I'm never going to put it in my house. So then, like, that spun up the idea of, like, doing a graveyard. And then, from the graveyard, we're like, we okay, why don't we build a fucking dungeon in the basement where we lock people in and kill them? So the idea is, like, all right, so I have this sim who has, like, black hair that fades into, like, whitish-gray tips, so, like, clearly she's a ghost. And <laughs> we have this sick-ass regal mansion that's, like, haunted-looking and, like, kind of, like, broken down and shit. And we have, like, a graveyard and, like, a mausoleum with, like, a fucking tomb in it, and there's, like, all these candles that are lit up that are, like, drippy and they work. And, like, it's just really cool. I'll take screenshots and, like, post them or something. And then when it's finished... But underneath the graveyard is, like, a dungeon where... Because we wanted the house to be legit haunted. And so if you kill Sims and you have their tombstones and shit, like, in your yard or, like, under your house, because <laughs> they're ugly. Like, I don't use EA props. Like, <laughs> let's Jeez. already talk about that. Um, so you can have ghosts if, like, they die on your property and you don't get rid of their shit. So... Now, what we're trying to do is kill as many people in our basement as possible, so our house is just overridden with ghosts, so that's what we're working on. 
It's pretty fucking weird. And it's it, fucked up, but I love it. The aesthetic is so cool. Having weird. all these like floaty, <laughs> transparent shits. Yeah, and it's just like a fun like backstory to like this oh, bitch. Yeah. She's just living here in this house, giant house by herself, throwing with parties and then luring them down to the basement for food. And then locking them in a room, and I have, like, the cheat where I can, like, just phase out of things and not need to, like, go through a door. So there's no door in this room, and then they all just, like, slowly starve to death while I have parties upstairs. <laughs> and um, you're also making friends with the Grim Reaper when he comes yeah, to take the Yeah, we're bodies. becoming buddies, and also I met the only resident alien, apparently, that I have in my town. So and this so is pretty weird. <laughs> it's pretty fucking great. Also, um, the best part is that... I had something to say, and now I totally forget. Oh, we have a maid, and, like, the maid's in on it. Like, I chose a maid, and I gave her, like, the insane trait and shit, and so she's just, like, silently watching this all go on and, like, cleaning my house and being like, yes. Yeah. (laughs) So, that's what we're doing in The Sims. (laughs) It's, you know, adding a lot more spice to the regular old just renovation. Demo day. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You know, and there's no shiplap in this house. It's a lot of stone arches. Oh, God. We'll definitely take some screenshots. Yeah, I feel like at one point in our lives when we actually figure out how to do Twitch, like, that would be something funny to, like, see on Twitch. I just want to make it so that it's, like, full screen, you know, my dilemmas. But anyway, so, actually, I was wondering if you wanted to consult the list of random thoughts. Yeah, if you guys didn't hear, I think it might have been last episode, we were like, we're going to keep a list of, like, random thoughts and stuff that we want to talk about, and you know what, we actually did it. And it's working. It's actually working. My whims, I write them down. So the first thing is that I'm a fucking dumbass. Oh, I true. Am, I am launching. so dumb because for literal weeks, guys. I want to say months. Oh, Liz, I was trying to save myself a little bit of dignity, but... I'm going to have to say it was definitely months because we started the podcast months ago. For whatever reason, I could not find the podcast app on my iPad. And so, for whatever reason, at one point or another, I had found it because it was open. Right. But I could not find it after that. And so, what I had been doing was when I go to close out of all the apps, I've just been leaving the uh, or the podcast one open and then getting it getting to it via that screen because you can't lose it or else it's gone forever yeah because i can't close out of it or else i will never find it ever again until like a day or two ago i was like okay rachel i cannot find this app can you please try and find it and literally as he was saying it like the words hadn't even left his mouth yet I already swiped to it and found it and opened it. (laughs) It was in a folder, but, like, on the second page, but, like, the first page, you know how sometimes, like, the pages won't actually even be filled up, but sometimes, like, you must have accidentally just, like, swiped it to a new page, and so it did look kind of suspicious, but, like, I knew where to look, but what's fucked up is, like, why didn't you just search? Because searching doesn't bring up where it is on your screen. Yeah, but, like, you would have been able to close out of it if it was, like... So basically, I just feel like the biggest dumbass because I couldn't find that, and... It took me, like, two seconds. <laughs> I, like, had to leave the room. It was just... When you found it, I was like, I can't do this. I can't believe for months I've been agonizing. <laughs> and, like, it just... I just did it, and then I looked at you, and then there was, like, silence, and then you were just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was so funny. You had to be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I wanted to talk about Friends... Um, not, like, people that we're friends with, but, like, the show, the franchise. Oh, my God. You know, chives. Uh. Um, so, if you haven't heard, news out, Friends is coming back. Breaking. Yeah. They're, like, doing some sort of tribute to the guy that directed it, and so I think it's, like, a special, it's sort of, like, one or, one or two episodes, like, I don't really know exactly the details, but they, like, fucking finally, like, officially confirmed it, like, it's not... Like a fake thing, you know? Yeah. And so, literally, within, like, 48 hours, every other shitty sitcom from that era is also announcing, like, a fucking reunion. So, Will and Grace and oh fucking Everybody Loves Raymond. Oh, wow. And I guess it's because, like, Parenthood's over, so Ray Romano could not be sad anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he can come back. 
Um, but I guess I, like, tweeted about it. I was like, oh, all the shitty sitcoms are, like, coming back now. And Friends is shitty, too, which is what I also well, tweeted. Hey, I mean, you say Parenthood's over Gilmore Girls. True. Yeah. True. I mean, like, Gilmore Girls was the first one. I yeah. mean, there, no, maybe it was Full House. I mean, that show's, like, about to come out. <laughs> yeah. But it's so was, fucked up. All of these shows are getting, like, I, <laughs> they're getting their reunions. And, like, I feel like Netflix, like, putting up all of these shows is what's, like, the resurgence and all this. Yeah. And all of us being annoying on the internet, being like, oh, I miss these shows. I know. And that's why Gilmore's coming back, because everybody just rewatched it when Netflix got it. But, like, Full House is gonna be a mess. Honestly, the fucking, the broad that's starring in it, she's, like, a, she, you need to, like, look up some of the shit that she says. She's, like, on The View now. Um, she's the one that plays, not Stephanie, DJ. And, like, she's the main star, and she's honestly, like, I can't stand her as a person. Like, okay. the shit that she says. And so, like, I'm already, like, turned off. Like, I I liked her when she was DJ, and she was, like, 16 or whatever. <laughs> <You know? laughs> But, uh, I just think it's gonna be, like, a mess. You know what I mean? Like, it's gonna yeah. be weird. I, I think the Gilmore one is gonna be great. I've never, I was never, like, really into Full House. Never watched, like, oh, I went out of my way, to. So, like, I don't really, I honestly don't know too much. Because, like, I never really went out of my way to watch I would that, love so. to go through it all. Because it's, like, so cheesy, but, like, it's just so fun. Also, yeah. I'd love to see how fucked up it was. Because I'm sure it is. Because it's very, like... Well, it's slightly traditional family values, but at the same time, like, they don't really have, like, a traditional home situation. Yeah. I don't know. I would love to rewatch it all the way through. You know, you say that Full House is the first one, but actually the first one is Boy Meets World in the form of Girl Meets World. Because oh, yeah, that show true. is literally just, like, Boy Meets World reunion continually. I <laughs> know. It's great. That's literally why I watch it. I watch it for all the Boy Meets World throwbacks. But, yeah, I, I'm sure the Friends one will be okay, but... Uh, I, like, hate Ross. <laughs> and, like, I don't want him back in my life. Someone tweeted, uh, I think it was Lex, and she was like, I would only be excited if, like, it was confirmed that he was dead. Oh like, my that god. that they killed him. <laughs> that, god, that would be funny. I wonder what it's gonna be like, or, like, how many throws. Are they gonna meet up at Central Perk, or is Central Perk gonna be, like, something different? Well, you know, you know like, I mean? you had read in the article that... It's going to be, like, impossible for scheduling reasons to have all of them all in the same place at the same time. Oh, this right. I think so, that... like, you know, the perfect thing would have all of them back in Central Perk, like, having... Are they gonna? Oh, my God. Oh, what apparently if they fucking, not. like, CGI them all together in the same room? Oh, my. Like, they pull a parent trap, and they just, like, film them all, like, on a fucking green couch, and then they just, like, <laughs> put them together. Honestly, they probably... I. What is it going to be like? Just, like, a couple of scenes with, like, a few people together? Like, Monica. If I get a reunion show, I want everybody to meet up all in the same place. I'm telling you, the Gilmore Girls one is going to be flawless. It's going to be so Like, you know good. the reunion's going to be, like, some sort of shit is going down in Stars Hall, like, some sort of big-ass bash or something. Something. I hope and nothing like, fucked up is happening. And all of them... Oh, my God. What if... What if it's, like... Stars Hollow is gonna be like demolished. For yeah, that's like what a I'm worried. Supermarket about. or something. Yeah, like a super mall. <laughs> yeah, you know that fucking plot that happens. It better not everywhere. be. We have to save Stars Hollow. Get me on the crowdfunding. I will go fund <laughs> my way. I know it's a fake town. Now we need a that '70s show reunion. Yes, we need one. That would be good though, and they're all like they honestly all don't even look different, so it would be perfect. Like, yeah, it's been like just enough time, but not too much time where everybody looks like a shit. You know, <laughs> like Mila Kunis is still in her prime. You know, like we're we're all good. Like this yeah. would be a good time. Ah, oh, that would be amazing. I love that show so much! I just wonder if they would do, like, the current time, or if they would do, like, a 90s or something, you know? The I 2000s. Feel like, I really feel like they should do a that 90s show. I know. It would be funny because they would have so many jokes about that specific time. It's just like time. This, how they have it for the 70s. If just It really would make so sense perfect. because it would be, like, 20 years or whatever. Um, but I'd still want it to feel... Like, not with the same people, but, but maybe, like, with a different group of people, but have, like, this 
same feels like having like a circle where they're all like smoking and stuff. Wait a minute, like, you think it should be like a new cast for the well, 90s? like oh my god, no, what? I well, thought it was just gonna be like twenty years well, later. Well, then like. It, I don't know. I feel like it'd be weird, but maybe not. I don't think it would be weird. It, 20 years later, they're all, like, adults, and they probably all have, like, all these new plots, but they're still in a circle. Oh, God. What if they had kids? They probably would. That would be interesting. Addition. Kelso's already got one. Because yeah. he... Yeah. Anyway. Maybe. Now that we went on spinoffs for a while. I don't know. It's not going to be a new cast. That would be so stupid. By the way, does that, that 70 show one has not at all been confirmed ever. No, we yeah, wanted that's that. just our pipe dream. Yeah. Well, Gilmore Girls was my fucking pipe dream, and it fucking came true. I can't believe the day that that was announced. I lost my shit. I think that we did a podcast right after, like, I hope so. that happened or whatever. You know, I was gonna say something. <laughs> I keep, oh, series of unfortunate events, Neil Patrick oh, Harris. Oh, yeah. I think people are genuinely... Somebody asked us a question. That was a question somebody asked us today is how we felt about this. I really don't feel it, okay? You know who would play a great Count Olaf? Who? Fucking Alton Brown. Oh, yeah. He would be a good If Count Alton Olaf. Brown had acting chops, which I feel like he low-key does, because, oh, like, yeah. all of Good Eats is scripted. Yeah. I feel like... <laughs> I know that's random, but, like, he would make... Fucking Neil Patrick Harris as Count Olaf. I just... Next. I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't see Jim Carrey's count off but you didn't see it i didn't see it because I, mean, I was i was so pissed off that it was three books in one movie i was like I, I don't want this i mean i thought it was good i don't really like jim carrey that much <laughs> i thought it was good but like i did think it was smart that they made him like unattractive like i hope that they make neil patrick harris unattractive because he's really handsome and i just don't picture like him to be like a handsome villain i picture him to be like a creepy like weirdo like the yeah. jim carrey version but like honestly I don't know. I just don't feel Neil Patrick Harris for this, but I guess no. we will see. Can you imagine if Tim Burton did the series of unfortunate events? I think he is, isn't he? I don't know. I thought he was. Or he is did he? that one. That was him? I don't remember. Honestly, <laughs> I think it might have been. I did see that like the showrunner left the show, like whoever was going to be doing it. But... I think they're having issues. Like I think it's going to take a while, TBH. I will be... I would honestly reread the series of unfortunate events before that came out that because would take a while. Well, I mean those big those books aren't that big. I know they're not actually. There's like what, like sixteen of them or something. I thought it was thirteen, but maybe not. No, I think I think there were more. Yeah, I think so. Hold on, what are you I'm looking, looking up the movie because I just want to know who the director was. Oh yeah, dude, the guy that played Klaus in that movie is really hot now. It's really fun. <laughs> um, director was Brad Silvan. Okay, so that's not that Tim Burton. Not, I think I made Burton. that up. Yeah. Um, Apparently so. I, I might swear. have had the same feel. Yeah. All right, I want to look up how many books there are. If you guys read that, let me know. I sh- feel like I should do it because I only read the first five. Really? It was only five? Oh my god. No, that's that's what I... You didn't even get to the... No, I mean, like, you didn't even get to the grotto? Oh my god. You are crazy. Um... I remember the last one was the Academy, like, oh, the that Austere one was Academy rough. or whatever, I think that it That was a rough one. Oh my god, the most infuriating one was the one where they were, like, at a circus, and that one pissed me off. It was, like, terrif- like I really liked the lake oh, one. Yeah. I love Leech Lake or <laughs> Leechy Lake or something. Lack, lack, whatever. <laughs> um, Austere yeah. Academy, I got it right, yes. The Grim Grotto, that one was so fucking good. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, you're right. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, the penultimate peril. So Yeah, oh. the Carnivorous Carnival. I hated that one. I hated it. I really loved the Reptile Room. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Reptile Room was good, too. Oh, there are so many good ones. You need to totally read this, but, like, the yeah. Carnivorous Carnival really was not fun. Also, I loved the alliterations. Yeah. You know, in the new I had always thought, or at least maybe it was my hope, that he was going to write one for every letter of the alphabet. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I guess he's busy. That would take a while. It's 26 books. Like, that's a lot. That is... I was like, how many books is that? <laughs> uh, former English major. <laughs> well, you know, what? I'm just waiting for NASA to add another letter, you know? Oh, God, what now a that, terrible transition. <laughs> NASA, if you haven't been up on the uh, 
the who's it's and what's it's of NASA. The space hype. <laughs> you might not know that they have decided that I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> and I don't agree. Um, so. It, now you're like a straight up Pisces. Yeah. And I'm an Aquarius. Mm, wrong. That random time like a couple years ago when they were like, yeah, there's 13 signs instead of just 12. And everybody was like, whatever. And then we forgot about it. And now they're like, yo, but it's for real. I, uh... I'm still going to say no. Like, just, I really identify with that fish. Now, well, I like that an Aquarius has the mermaid factor, you know? I, Or is you, she just like a bitch with a jug? Like, honestly, I, I need to look this up. You are a Pisces through and through, honestly. And I am... My I skin is scaly like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> like... I, I don't think I am a Pisces. And no, I said Aquarius. I honestly need to... <laughs> <laughs> but, I don't know. I... Somebody had suggested maybe I'm, like, a, a border one, and it, I think it's, like, Aries that comes up to Pisces. I don't know. And, like, I looked that up, and I didn't fucking think I was that either. And so, I don't know what the hell sign yeah. I am. I still just... I'm trying to figure out if an Aquarius is a mermaid or just a woman holding a jug. I feel like it's just a jug. Yeah, it's... Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about Aquarius. It looks just kind of like a woman with a jug. Um, I mean, if that jug is a chunk, then yeah. No, it's just... Is that my camelback? Like, what? <laughs> camelback has no spill. It would ruin everything. I'm a fish. I am a fish. <sighs> it just makes so much more sense. So, talking about other things that are kind of pissing us off, <laughs> is uh, there's a lot of rumors about what the next iPhone is going to be like. And so one of the biggest rumors is that they're getting rid of the aux port for your headphones. Dumb. And that's, like, the stupidest idea I've ever heard of. And the whole reasoning that everybody's saying they're doing it is because the phone could be a little bit thinner. It's already thin. Like, I don't need my phone to be any thinner Especially, than Especially, like, the sixes and stuff. Yeah, they're, they're thinner all than ours. so thin. Yeah. And, like, I'm cool with the 5S thickness. Like, it's thick with two Cs. But, in a, like, it's still slender with two ends. Yeah. And another thing that's, like, been, like, revealed is that they, like, bought the rights to or they are planning on doing wireless earbuds. No, so, I'd lose it. Yeah, and there's going to be, like, Bluetooth or some shit. And I can just imagine the events where they announce it and they're like, the biggest problem with iPhones is not the phone. But it's the headphones and the tangle that the cord gets in. So we've removed that problem for you. You've got new wireless earbuds, but don't worry. You can't use any headphones with your iPhone. You have to use these. I would literally lose those. Like, how many times have you bought, like, what are the things that you put in your ear to, like, silence everything out? Uh, just earbuds. Or, yeah. Right? Earbuds? Is that what No. It, what? What is it? Ear plugs earplugs <laughs> yeah wow, wow. Oh, man. <laughs> when's the last time you had to put a plug in your ear because <laughs> like sometimes when you were going swimming remember yes um i used to get swimmers ear a lot ew yeah i don't know why i said ew honestly <laughs> it's a natural thing <laughs> <laughs> i never got it though i was real good about getting that water out <laughs> it's a fish <laughs> but uh you always lose one yeah, I would lose that shit in a heartbeat. I lose both earrings, and they're, like, sticking in... They're impaling my skin. <laughs> like, I lose earrings <laughs> all the time. Oh. And they're literally one with my flesh. <laughs> like, you know, you expect me to hold on to these stupid earbuds. Like, shit's not gonna happen. It's so fucking stupid. And there's gonna be, like, some dumbass, like thing you can put on the bottom of it so you can plug in old headphones, but you're going to have to buy it extra or something. I have $100 shit. headphones. I'm not getting rid of them. Yeah, I want to use any fucking headphones that I have. I'll keep them for my iPad because I'm not going to upgrade that. Yeah. For a long time until it breaks. Fuck no, you don't need to upgrade that. Those things are going to last forever. I hope. But, uh... <laughs> Said that to my MacBook Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in benches. <laughs> Another thing I think they said that they're doing is that they might do a phone that is, like, a big one, like, a 6 plus size or whatever, and then they'll, have, the phone. they'll have another one that 
is the size of like iPhone four size. You know? Okay. And I think they were planning on, like, the rumors, like, they're going to do that, like, before, like, the official new iPhone comes out. Like, they're going to do, like, some 5C bullshit. But it's going to be, like, just, like, a 4, iPhone 4 size screen. I mean, I liked the iPhone 4. (laughs) Honestly, I think the 5 is where it's at. The 5 has a good amount of real estate. You you know, like, back when we had 4Ss, remember when we would, like be afraid of the iPhone 5. Like, we were scared. Yeah, we were like, oh my god, a whole nother row. Like, a that's so much. A whole row of apps. Like, so much. Then the 6 came out and really rocked our world. Like, I remember after getting my 5S and then holding my 4S, and it was just, like, so fucking different, and the screen was so small. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god, so they're weird. doing wireless charging? I'm looking at <clears throat> Mac rumors or whatever.com wireless <laughs> charging is cool as shit and i can't wait for that to actually be like a real thing can you like stack your iphones what if you could just like stack all of your fucking products on one like charging pad well yeah that's that's charge. like what it'll be is like there have been like mats that you roll out and then oh, you just shit. play shit on it and then it charges them all that's amazing i can't wait for wireless charging to actually be a thing but fuck wireless earbuds i will deal first with first my... leaked photos what what are they saying oh man. and we've got our first leaked photos where are they where in this fucking video i'm not gonna watch this goddamn video with these Advertising. Look at these clammy guys. <laughs> They're too clammy for me to watch. Um, oh. Uh, iPhone 7. To... Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is a great thing doing a podcast. We can't see what we're looking at. <laughs> I know. Um, honestly, this is probably not even true, you know? Because. Yeah. You I know, just... that's the thing with rumors. You can't really fucking believe them. But. I'm not really seeing a difference here. They seem to have moved. A, um, thingy. (laughs) So that's interesting. Um, something about LEDs. Um, LCDs, actually. (laughs) Turns out. That um, would be the screen. I'm just gonna stop right there. Yeah, Um, let's just stop right there, because, you know, we're gonna go down, like, a rabbit hole with this. This is what I do. Not really. So, in, like, summary, I never want to, like, get rid of my 5S... Because I, I like it, and I wish it would just, like, magically upgrade the inside. It can't so that keep way. up. It just can't. Like, the hustle and bustle of 2016 is too much for this pure phone. <laughs> like, my 5S is a wonderful piece I mean, of rectangle. Yeah, this is a great rectangle. And, you know, I've dropped this rectangle a lot of times, and I haven't broken the screen on All right. it. Honestly, how the fuck do people shatter their iPhones? I have no idea. I drop it all the time. I've never shattered an iPhone. My uh, Apple fucking remote, Apple TV remote, because it's made of, like, goddamn steel, cracked (laughs) my screen on my uh, iPad, because there's more screen. Like, there's more real estate. And that stupid remote. The the microwave. (laughs) The remote weighs, like, 16 pounds. It's so stupid. And it has, like, sharp-ass edges to it. Whoever designed that, honestly, can suck my ass. So, anyway. Technology. What a world. What a whirlwind. What a whirlpool dryer. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess, you know, let's go to the hashtag because, as always, we've asked for some questions. Yeah. So uh, I will load that up. Or you, you got it or am I loading it up? You had your phone, so I figured you were just All running right. away. Well, you know, I will look it up. And, you know, as always, if you want to ask a question, just tweet us with the hashtag Coffee with Rachel. Well, while you're looking at that... We have some updated news on our moving situation. Oh, shit, yeah. So... You can't go an episode now without talking about our apartment. Let's do it. (laughs) uh, It's getting to crunch time. Nitty gritty. I just realized today that there's only two more weeks left in January, which means it's basically February, which means I'm moving tomorrow. (laughs) And... We uh we talked to the people in our building about possibly like not having to pay for M- March's rent and like have kind of doing like a here. takeover of our lease. Yeah, and so they were like, yeah, we can probably do that. So it looks like 
we're not paying March rent here, which saves us like a thousand dollars. Like, yeah. literally, that's a thousand dollars that we get to have for our move. This is amazing. So, I know. So we're hopefully. not going to have the liability of this place for like an extra two months on our hands. Literally, like the only con is that we'll probably have to clean, like deep clean this apartment, like the same week that we move. But like. Okay, yeah, that's definitely just, worth a thousand bucks. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably like end up just taking an extra day off of work and making sure that this place is all together. Oh my god, I'll just be here during the day because it's not even going to take more than one day to like get oh, this place really yeah, clean. No, I just want to like space things out because this is like the first time in my life I can space out a move into more than just one day. Yeah, so like I really it's going to be like a four to five day. I am really enjoying that, and so, and of course, it's like the shortest move out of all of our moves it's in terms of distance. Down the street. But I am enjoying that it's over multiple days. I know, me too. Well, I guess from Brookwood to Pickwick, that wasn't that bad. True. Same concept. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. Same concept, but we had one day. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. I'm getting excited, though. <sighs> that, like, that totally just got me so ready to move. Because, like, <laughs> that little piece of information <laughs> Because, like, we moved the move up, like, two to three weeks, and you know it was going to cost us a little bit more money because we're going to be in the apartment for more February. And so, like, I was like, oh, was that a stupid decision just to get out of this shithole? But, like, but now then, I'm going to get $1,000. <laughs> yeah, and then the next day, like, after that happened was the day that the fire alarm decided to break again. And that like, Fuck construction this. outside was like, okay, we're going to, like, just slam metal poles together all day long or something because they're they just doing... doing so much shit, and we were like, fuck it. And it paid off. Honestly, Mercury is really riding my ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think Mercury is supposed to be in retrograde right now. It is. And usually that means dark times. But, like, honestly, Mercury has been treating me pretty well. And I thought it was that... Maybe it's more in Gatorade. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mercury is oh. in Gatorade. Retro- instead of retrograde, it's Gatorade? <laughs> When does it go into power range? <laughs> I don't know. I took that joke too far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Squeezy, am I right? <laughs> oh my god. Before we get into whatever you're about to get into, Chris has this thing where, like, if he delivers a joke, usually one of his barbecue dad jokes, um, and it doesn't go over well with me, his only audience. <laughs> like, if I just, like... If Lila walks away from me. <laughs> <laughs> if I just, like, look at you and I'm like, huh, like, that's it. Um, he goes to Squeezy, and he'll be like, <laughs> Squeezy, look at you! Like, he just, like, deflects <laughs> immediately to Squeezy. Sometimes Squeezy's nowhere to be found. <laughs> he'll just be like, ha <laughs> Squeezy, did you catch that? <laughs> I'm tendering Squeezy right now. Alright, did you find a fucking question? Well, Squeezy came. So. You know, I made a poll today on Twitter. Follow me, Rachel Whitehurst. Same with Snapchat. Um, and it was Beep versus Boop. And, uh, Beep has a sad 30%. Which is really upsetting. Boop has a solid lead. Yeah, Boop at that 70%. Wonderful. So we did another, we did a poll on the Coffee with Rachel one too, which I think we should do more often as to what we're going to be doing for the benches. Yeah. And uh, we will see what the results were, but we chose in between the benches at an airport and the benches on a deserted island. It's not going to be, like, what's fucked up is, like, we're going to record this tonight, and the poll is, like, up for 24 hours, so what if it's, like, totally different from, like, what it ends up being? <laughs> but, like, we're just going to choose whatever it is at the time that we're getting to that. Yeah, but. so we'll look at that in a little bit. But let's do some questions. Sweet. Uh, if you and the Chunks could move to one planet in our universe, which one would you choose and why? Whoa. Um, Uranus. Hands fucking down. For a... Just the, the solid meme, joke. Yeah, the joke, the meme probability. It's big. <laughs> it's lit. Like, I'm gonna pick the moon. That's because, Lila. <laughs> because can you imagine Lila's chunks just kind of like hopping around on the moon with them reduced Squeezy's gravity? yellow eyes. <laughs> can you imagine Squeezy like moving, b- being really frightened and kind of just like floating through the air because he's so light? I just... I don't know what what that would is be great. what is Uranus got to offer. <laughs> <laughs> like, have we been there yet? Uh, we gotta go. Shit. I mean, I don't know why they're working on Mars when Uranus is right there. 
the day it's not right there. The day humanity gets to Uranus is going it's to be mine. It's when a lot of secrets are going to be unlocked. <laughs> Honestly, like we want to know where the aliens are. They're in Uranus. It's just a wonderful joke that I probably thought of in third grade. I feel like NASA is deliberately not delivering news on Uranus just because of the joke. <laughs> NASA's not delivering news on Uranus. <laughs> Can we name that the podcast episode? Who title? named that planet? Because they named just that planet <laughs> ruined the study of fucking space. I want to name a planet so much. That's why I really want that one video game. Because I want to be naming it, like, Nipple Core. <laughs> like, <laughs> titty. Like, I just, you know. That would anyway. be fabulous. Oh, Great shit. question. <laughs> really got my gears turning. You really greased my uh, carbines. How much wood would a wood chunk chunk if a wood chunk could chunk wood? <laughs> if this was paper, a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I guess wood does become paper. Wood pulp. I'm not lying. That's true. I know. I made paper once. Oh. Wait. Using pulp. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, you won up to me because I haven't. I physically made paper. <laughs> <laughs> I have. In, like, fifth grade. It was, like, the fifth grade art project. And, like, it was basically everybody had to put all of their recycled paper into, like, this one fucking thing. And then all of that paper we turned into pulp. And then we made fucking recycled paper. And wow. it had glitter in it and shit, and it was fun. Glitter? What? Yeah, like, we put it in so it was, like, a glittery paper. Oh, uh, okay. And I think fancy shit. Yeah. Um, What'd you do in fifth grade? <laughs> I could not tell you. Not exactly. Yeah. You couldn't tell you what you did five minutes ago. No idea. Where are we? <laughs> We're in Uranus. All right. What are your thoughts on gauchos? <laughs> Been there, done that. Um, <laughs> I just... Alright, drag me right now. I don't know what a gaucho is. <gasps> Let me Google it. Okay. Because my description will not be as good as the photo, because you need to get these fucking pants in your mind. Alright, so I just want you to picture me wearing a pair of black gauchos, a pair of gold flats, and a green and gold sequin top to a wedding. To a fucking wedding. Well, when I see these, All right. I will understand. And these were definitely... Oh, those! Oh, yeah. Okay. They were like... Skirt... But they were so goddamn comfortable. It was basically like... They were your formal yoga pants. Oh. They were so... They were like the same fabric. <laughs> formal yoga pants. They were so comfortable and they had like the fold over band like around your stomach. Yeah. And that was just so easy breezy and... Oh my god, those with a pair of little kitten heels and a shitty JCPenney sweater, and you were, like, the belle of the ball in fourth grade. I, now that you showed me that, Everybody I remember seeing so many of them. Oh yeah, they were so comfy, you know? Yeah. Alright, let's see what other questions that we have. Um, any tips on finding an internship for college? I'm studying fundraising, and resource development. Well, I don't know anything about that specific field of study. Same. But, you know, finding an internship, that's a hard one, because... <laughs> Let's just say, your girl did not intern, but also I was a YouTuber. <laughs> and I... I was interning at the World Wide Web. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had an online internship that really didn't do anything for me whatsoever. I think talking to your professors and seeing if they have anything that they need interns for, if they've heard anything, that's probably, like, the best place yeah, to find probably, shit. Yeah, they probably got the word on what's up in terms of There are people at your school that are supposed to help you do that, but honestly, your advisor slash your professor will know first. Also, like, I don't know, like, I really don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I can't say I, like, I did the most looking for an internship. <laughs> I know. It was just because nothing paid and I had I to needed, have a job. I, yeah, I know. We both needed to work and not, no internships were paying. So we were like, well, we can't do any of these. Yep. So that's pretty much not a lot of advice, but good luck on finding an internship. Exactly. All right. Uh, describe the Chunks design aesthetic or the episode of House Hunters they'd appear on. Oh, my God. Well... 
their design aesthetic, like, we've said that Squeezie has that modern taste, you know, with an elegant classic twist. And Lila prefers comfort. So I think she would like, you know, like a, a sh- cozy cottage type feel. Lots of throw blankets and puffy pillows. And, yeah. You know, Squeezy likes those sleek modern edges. So I feel like they'd be like the perfect like couple to go on to an episode of House Hunters. Because right. nobody ever has like the same taste at They're all. But like, she wants vintage charmer. He wants modern updates. <laughs> you know, that's them. Like, yeah. in a nutshell. I mean, fuck. I can think of, there's, like, usually, like, a couple of episodes that they kind of have, like, the same taste, so they try their hardest to, like, find something that's, like, a feud in between the two people that they can't pick. He wants a pool, and she could live without one, and she's like, I don't mind if we have one, though, and they're like, this is a pool, it's totally different than what Joanne wants. Yeah. They really, like, (laughs) inflate it. You know, even on House Hunters, you gotta have that drama. Oh my god, are you kidding me? There's so much drama. It's not just Fixer Upper that brings the drama. (laughs) Oh no. Joanne, I gotta look down here. There's a nail that's loose. I think this could be a big problem in the budget. You might want to call the the call the homeowners. Oh shit. I think we should do another Fixer Upper again. (laughs) You mean like a Cradle Cooks? Yeah. Oh yeah. Honestly. We'll have to figure out another way to do something. Or another just like show like that. Something. Some sort of way to make that I'm thinking, like what if we did house hunters with the gingerbread houses and we do fucking three videos and it's like <laughs> what if this is your new christmas video is like <laughs> or we doing do these a gingerbread... fucking hgtv show with a gingerbread house <laughs> the new... flop the unctuous nuance of that ew <laughs> <laughs> that sentence honestly made me one of just my nipples i okay. was thinking what if we blend the words robust and unctuous to robunctious Oh, my rambunctious. Yeah. Honestly, I'm robunctious Rachel. Yeah. And you're... No. That's... You're kind of Chris. <laughs> Am I really? <laughs> <laughs> um, who is she? <laughs> All right, kind of on the same vein. Uh, have you guys ever watched Extreme Homes? Thoughts? Yes. Yes, we've watched Extreme Homes, and I love, love how show. extreme those homes are really are. It's like... The X Games of House Hunters. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I get really God. hyped for it. Like, I really like the modern ones where it's like, we turned this abandoned factory into a urban loft. And yeah. like, I don't know, I love those. But like, then they'll have like, this is the Mushroom House. And it's yeah, like all those of these weird ass ones. Which was the weirdest fucking one. Or like that one that was like in the ground. It was kind of like a hobbit hole. No, there was that one... That was, like, in the trees, but it looked like lily pads from underneath or whatever. Yeah. Do you remember that? That was fucking wild. That's on Netflix now. Yeah, we were watching that, but then we stopped for... I don't know. Just, we just... I love it when they're, like, in the top of, like, a clock building. You know, oh, like, in the tippy top. A clock tower. Yeah. Yeah. A clock building. <laughs> Those buildings with the clocks. Yeah. <laughs> Big Ben, that building. You mean any house that's been on Fixer Upper? <laughs> oh, burn it! Honestly, I think the houses on Fixer Upper have bigger clocks than Big Ben is. Yeah, pretty much. Right? <laughs> Alright, so... We've also been dragged for not being scared of aliens, because, um... I am scared, are you kidding me? She, they said, I don't feel like typing it out, but yeah, but how are you guys not scared of aliens? And then they said that they were scared shitless when they saw signs at 15. Okay, I was scared shitless when I watched signs. Yeah, I was too, but I... Children Vominos, the scariest moment of my (laughs) life, really. But I enjoyed that, like, the fear that I had, I want that again. (laughs) I know, like, I would totally be up for a rewatch, and do we just pretend Mel Gibson's not there? Yeah, true. Just, um, you know, for there for the walking. Yeah. Fuck. Um, I am afraid of aliens. I'm afraid of, like... But you would still fuck one. The aliens that are, like, portrayed in, like, the Coming to Earth movies scare the shit out of me. But I genuinely am hopeful and optimistic that the aliens that will come to take me eventually will be interested in, you know, making Earth a more functioning place and they'll have like technology that they'll want to show us you know to help save us from the not porn. kill us with you know as yeah, every I'm, hollywood I'm movie hoping has suggested that they're more chill i feel like it's just uh like america to think 
that aliens are going to be, like, these evil and they're going to take our guns, you know? Like, honestly, are the aliens the liberals in these movies? Yeah. Think about it. Just think about it, guys. Just think about it. It's it's Donald Trump. Yeah. You know? What if the aliens arrive and they turn out to be, like, the Yokians from Jimmy Neutron? I don't remember that episode as, like, vividly the, as you do. No, there, there, it wasn't just one episode. They were, like, a <laughs> recurring character. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I didn't watch it as religiously as you. I love that you can't remember the day that we met, but you know a lot about Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> That's the only thing I know, is that well, the name of the aliens was the Yokians, you and that, that they were epi- fucking eggs. <laughs> Do you remember that episode where, like, they lose their memories and they have to, like, sort them back and they're like, we'll give her, uh, whistling and they, like, don't remember, like, who actually had each memory? Oh, yeah. That's like you. And they were like, day he first met his girlfriend? Nah. Can remember the Yokians? Yes. Like, you know what I mean? Listen. I can't, I can't explain. I know. It's fine. I don't mind. I don't remember how to. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, is that it? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we have right now. Alright, so, shall we get on into, uh, the old bench time? Yeah, let's see the results of those polls. I know you guys have been on your toes ever since we said there was a poll. I know. Um, so, winning 52 to 48, we have Deserted Island. Yo, okay, low-key, that's what I voted for. (laughs) I voted for at the airport, we'll do that next week, maybe. Yeah, we'll just do the next one the next time. I feel, though, that we should definitely have a vote at least once a week, you know, to decide. Yeah. What they will be. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Pull oh, it up. wow. <laughs> we kind of need, Classic. like, your shit for this, you know? If you want to be a part of the binge time, you can always check us out at patreon.com slash coffee with Rachel to see how you can help support this show and also become a binge. <laughs> yeah. And who doesn't want to be a binge? Um, Lila, clearly. Look at her. She's just totally wow. turned away from us. So while this is loading, we did something really fucked up. Oh, no. Just before the show. Yeah. Well, if we it had to go, because they had a cardboard piece that came inside their gingerbread house. And it was gone, girl. Like, like, it was destroyed. It was really destroyed. There was shit getting all over the apartment. So it had to go. It's but, Lila's favorite square footage of the apartment, is this square of cardboard. I'm not really upset that it's gone, because we were replaced by the cardboard, and so <laughs> Lila didn't talk to us anymore. Lila only, like, instead of, every time Lila opens her eyes, she used to come over to us, and now it's only in the morning when our alarms go off. And then, like, I mean, she'll hang out with us sometimes during the day, but, like, less because of the yeah. cardboard. Yeah. But it was fucking, oh my god, every morning I was waking up to pieces of cardboard all over the bed because like they'll get it all over themselves and then they'll bring it like track it on top of the bed you guys are trash i know they are so now she's laying where it was in like memoriam of the cardboard did you see that target came out with a valentine's day cat house what yeah oh shit probably the same ten dollars I'm thinking about it. Listen, they know. They started with the haunted house, and they were like, oh shit, we got something This is a here. seller. We got they're something. Gonna do, if they're going to do a, if they make a 4th of July house and has a grill, I am buying it. Honestly, they could do a tree house and make it Arbor Day. Like, I'd buy Fuck it. Fuck yes. President's Put a little Day. sparkler in it. I'll have a 4th of July one. Yo, would we get, I love the ginger red house, but are we throwing it away when we move? I don't know. Or can we, like, dismantle it and keep it? Because it's so cute. But I did... It is taped because, like, they don't stay together very well unless you tape it. Do you it. think you'd be able to take the tape off of it? We could probably... Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to see. We'll have to... We'll keep... I don't want to get rid of it. I know it's just fucking cardboard, but, like, it's so cute. It's like a cute little Christmas decoration. We have a collection of different houses for them to have out during the year. I mean, we have a walk-in closet. We might as well throw it with... <laughs> fill it up with a bunch of fucking cardboard cat houses for different holidays. <laughs> Honestly, why don't we use that walk-in closet for just everything cat? Because yeah. that's what really matters. All right, you got this? All right, yeah, benches, you're going. You're on the show Lost. You just crash-landed on an island, and... The benches are the survivors. The benches are survivors. This is what you guys are doing. Oh, my God, the other the other benches at the end. They're, are the others. They're the others. You guys were already on... They weren't on the plane. <laughs> they weren't on the manifest... That's it. This is the manifest. Okay. <laughs> go. Here we go. Danielle Manus. Danielle is... 
oh, Danielle is the pilot, and she's still saying Mayday, Mayday, over and over again in, like, shock. That's dark. We're going in dark, because we're on a desert Going in island. dark. Okay. So, Danielle is yelling Mayday. See, you know, wow. I'm tying it all together wow. there. Wow, so many ties. You're like a little twine. <laughs> Wrap me around a turkey. <laughs> Call me Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Julia Child. Uh, Kate Convery. <laughs> Kate is having a conversation with someone about... Um, what they're going to do for food. Yeah. <laughs> Good call. I was like, what were they talking about? <laughs> Nicole Dowling. Nicole is down... <laughs> at the water... Front. Searching for suitcases. Okay. Uh, Caitlin Sharda. Caitlin is shucking oysters already getting already. started You're, you're, you're the like food. the gin from Lost. You were just like already catching urchins and like doing well, all this like, shit. Well, like honestly, John Locke got his shit together pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. True. Uh, Carissa. Carissa is death not cruising right now. Carissa is carefully... Removing a piece of steel from her leg. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is so dark. This is dark, but okay, we're going with it. It's really okay. <clears throat> Haley Dixon. Haley is uh, digging in the sand. Um, a grave for somebody. Oh my god! Oh my god! I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, you you were setting it up for that. I know this is horrible. Sloan Fuller. Sloan is um, filling a coconut with, with water. Yeah, because you're getting ahead of the game. You know you're going to be ha- needing some hydration. Mm-hmm. Stephanie. Stephanie is stuffing a suitcase full of all of the medicine because you're like, that's Sawyer. You're, yeah, you're going to be the Sawyer. You're going to steal all the medicine. Brittany Owen. Brittany is um, uh, rowing with a piece of plane to the shore. Yes. Still in the water. <laughs> Angelica Feliz. Angelica is uh, feeling kind of scared. You have a right to because you just got stranded on an island. Feeling parched also. Well, you better go talk to Sloan. Coconuts. <laughs> Coconut head made me thinking Ned's declassified. Oh, boy. Shit. All right, Kayla Cross. Kayla is crossing the beach. To the forest, because you're going to start getting some supplies for a hut. Yeah. Grace Leedy. Grace is leading the pack. In the old Jack way. You're the Jack Shepherd of the group. And you're telling everybody to... I'm a surgeon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it. Uh, Cassandra Buck out. Cassandra's upset that having a buck right now isn't going to do much on this island. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Money isn't everything. Now it's coconuts and fish. Uh, Casey McDaniel. Casey is... is uh, Drinking the bottle of Jack Daniels that you found. Me? Because you're like, well, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dana Marie Smith. Dana is um, smithing over a hot fire some shards of the plane into... Some blades, because... Because you gotta cut things yeah. in a jungle. Yes. Duh. Maddie Pullman. Is getting some bamboo shoots to use as poles to for hold a tent. up a yeah, a Perfect. tarp. Uh, Amanda Marie. Amanda is mm, um, using a mandolin to slice fresh vegetation. Thank you to the person that brought a mandolin on their trip. Yeah, they were going to like culinary institute or something. Yes. Jane Shell. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jane is <clears throat> shelling out the compliments. Oh, my God. And trying to get on everybody's good side because she thinks we might be on this island for a while. So the hurry. Guys, wait. Where are we? <laughs> okay. K. 
Camellia Malky. Camellia is looking Playing through... with a chameleon oh. that is just native to this island. <laughs> so I was going to say, this ain't the mall. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kayla Bean. Kayla is being asked, where you been? Because she came out of the forest and she wasn't wet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Kayla wasn't on the manifest. He wasn't on the plan. Uh, Lena Leha. Lena is leaning against a coconut tree. Palm tree. Trying to be cool, just playing it off like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, Caitlin Whalen. Caitlin is whale watching because you've never even seen the ocean before, so you're <laughs> excited. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Kelsey Gillis. You are cleaning the gills off of this fish that you just caught. Cool. Dinner. Eat. Yeah. I want another cup of coffee. Okay. Well, here's the ingredients for that. Thank you so much. There's um, just two. You know, two ingredients means it's healthy. Remember? <laughs> I can pronounce both of these ingredients. Oh, shit. That means it's going to make you live forever. Yep. Uh, Hannah Neely. Hannah is kneeling... Before a slaughtered boar, and is just really R- blessed. Yes, <laughs> Jessica McCartan. Jessica is um, carting around a stuffed animal penguin and wishing for some brisk, cool weather. Yes, this island's too hot. Lucy Ravenscroft. Lucy is crafting together a spear. Yeah. To catch some fish. Yes. Seafood is all the rage. Sarah Fairbanks. Sarah's in the riverbanks. Um, um, skipping stones. <laughs> yes. You just can't be with all those other people on the beach. It's too stressful. Understood. Veronica Curran. Veronica is... Um, watching a raft that they made get washed away in the current. Oh. We're not getting on this, getting off this island. Wow, all of Michael's hard work. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if nobody has watched Lost, they're not getting, like, any of these jokes. It's fine. Uh, Cody Robinson. Cody is looking for their son. Oh, God, your son was there. Where are they? Whoa! Whoa, my boy, whoa! But, like, you know. You'll find him eventually. Tegan Anderson. Tegan is... Um... Uh, Tegan is... is taking a gander <laughs> at that strange rock formation you see down the beach. Ooh, what interesting. Uh, Lauren Siobhan. <laughs> Lauren, this is the best time for you to use your shiv-making skills. Because you're, you, you never know. You never know. Protection. You know, some of these people are kind of shady. You mm-hmm. want to protect yourself. Uh, Allison Francois. Allison is... Frankly, just fed up with this whole situation and is... Also, frankly, fed up with how long it's taking the goat, the coast guard, <laughs> goat. The, ghost, the ghost card. <laughs> how long is the goat taking to get here? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Haley Cadwalder. Haley is um, looking for some conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> Because even though you're on the island, your ends still need to repair. This humidity is really fucking with you right now. Yeah, seriously. Mer- I'd be the one with still like doing an eight-step skincare routine <laughs> on the desert island. Maria Spano. I'd be like, I smash one banana on my face. <laughs> <laughs> and I double cleanse with a coconut. <laughs> anyway. Maria Spanos. Maria is... No, Spanos. Spanos, damn it. Damn it. Maria is looking across the view span of the coast and... Admiring the view of the horizon. Because there's nothing there except for water. That's really scary. Katie Gallardo. Katie is wishing she had some lard with her so that she can make these cookies. No. What? <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Tompkins. Tina is... Um... Looking for a team to help build a new raft <laughs> after the other one got swept away. <laughs> Sarah Seaman. Sarah is, is just in out the in the sea. sea. She's just there. She's like... One with it. <laughs> she's just cool with it, you know? Uh, Maddie Kendall. Maddie is mad because she can't find any sunscreen. And, you know... That SPF. Exactly. Uh, Dana Daly. Dana is wondering how many days will pass until they are rescued. Wow. This is really... Asking this the tough This is really questions. fucked up. Like, <laughs> deep down, it's fucked up. The airport was gonna be much lighter. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be like, somebody can't find their passport. And yeah. Shit. Like, this is like, people are dying. Honestly, though, the airport could be more <laughs> stressful. Honestly, which one's more stressful? Desert True. Island or airport? I don't know. <laughs> Kylie Williamson. Kylie is willing to... Work together with everybody to make this as pleasant as possible. Because yeah. it's a shitty situation. Megan Wilson. Megan is... Hoping that she has the will to keep going. Because... <laughs> It's, um... It's rough being on this island, It is rough, and she's hoping that she can, you know, be strong enough... To make it through. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. (laughs) Kelly K. Kelly is catering... To Um, everybody's needs. Oh. Because she's just a really nice person. She's a people pleaser. And wants to make sure everybody's okay while they're stranded on this desert island. That would be me. I'd be like, can I do anything for you? Like, can I get you anything? (laughs) Claire would... I have some sunscreen at my hut. (laughs) Claire is actually gathering wood and twigs for a fire because they're going to do a signal fire. Ooh, classic. It never works. (laughs) (laughs) Just draws the others closer to the camp. (laughs) Kelly Adams. Kelly is adding up how many bottles of water they have left. Oh, God. You are (laughs) keeping inventory. Yikes. Temple Murray. Temple is actually rubbing her temples. Because you're getting a headache because your glasses are broken. Oh, yeah. Classic Sawyer moment. (laughs) Hannah Peterson. Hannah is... Uh, (laughs) Hannah is savoring the last drop of her Peter Thomas Roth mask. Oh my god, I thought you were going to say the Peter Pan peanut butter. (laughs) (laughs) Or that. Oh my god, Charlie with the peanut butter. (laughs) Peanut butter. Oh god, so many nuances. Yeah. Jenna Gordonier. Jenna is guarding the weapons. Oh, there are oh? some weapons. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, Melissa Andrade. Melissa is making a list of things that we. No, how about a list of people that are on the beach and comparing it to the manifest? Ho oh. ho. Because. You know, Melissa watched Lost, and so she's prepared. Yeah, that would be me. Sasha. Sasha is making a sash out of excess clothing to keep her skin covered from the hot summer heat. Yes. Michaela Jernigan (laughs) is on a journey... To find uh, fresh water. Yeah, you're just out in the wilderness on your own. They haven't even found water yet. Like <laughs> Brandy Coats. Brandy finds Brandy and decides that it's about time you had a drink. <laughs> yeah. You know, if there's ever a time, it's being stranded. Yeah. Sarah. Sarah is actually putting a sear on the nice ahi tuna (laughs) that was caught. And that's what we're feeding everybody today, folks. It's not Christmas, but we're having seared ahi. (laughs) Bridget Dubin. Bridget is wishing she had a Dubin right now. Because this (laughs) shit is stressful. Oh, God. Grayson Clark. Grayson is racing... To find somebody after they stumbled upon 
fresh water. Oh. Yes. Somebody better go tell uh, whoever was out looking for water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vlyn Vance. Vlyn is taking advantage of all this fresh seafood <laughs> to really start enjoying the taste of fish. Yes. Hillary Gay. Hillary is climbing up a hill to see if you can get a radio signal. Oh. So, the, uh, wow, what's his name? I can't think of his name. Saeed. Saeed, yeah, the Saeed of the group. Yep. Trying to get that radio signal. Anna Hernandez. Anna is desolate. (laughs) That's it. You're just desolate. And it's, it's gonna get better. Jennifer Holtz. Jennifer is digging a hole to hide her valuables. Okay, so we got a couple of hole diggers here. <laughs> that would also be me. <laughs> I'd be hiding like my Excedrin migraine. <laughs> Courtney White. Courtney is White River rafting. <laughs> what? <laughs> like you took that emergency raft and you're just riding down the river? You're like, this is about time that I started to do more X game shit. <laughs> Sophie Smith. Sophie is um, reading a book about the Smithsonian from cover to cover. Okay. Elizabeth Doles. Elizabeth is thinking that these pineapples sure are better than that canned dole shit. <laughs> that was such a fake laugh. Shelly Smith. <laughs> uh, Shelly is... Uh, Making puns like I'm talking on my shell phone and everyone's getting really annoyed. Oh god. <laughs> Just like Chris. Rachel Leesk. Rachel. Rachel. The least you could do is not accidentally <laughs> put out the signal fire. <laughs> like, Come on, this Rachel. Is like the third time. <laughs> We're trying to get rescued. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie Knight. Mackenzie is Worried that someone's going to take her at night. Oh, at The night. others. <laughs> Rachel Evans. Rachel is making sure her tan is even. Okay. By All rotating right. her towel. Alright, and now we're moving on to the others. Yes, these are the creepy little others. Alright, we've got Zoe. Whoa. Katie Hart. Yes. Ian Murphy. No way. Elizabeth Holbrook. (laughs) Too much. Emma Corb... Emma Corbeil. Oh, enough. (laughs) Renee Medina. Don't go there. Jackie Boyd. Please. Brynja. No. Cecilia Gonzalez. (laughs) That's alright. Jackie Brigiulio. I'll pass. (laughs) Kelsey Mix. I'll live. Hannah Mae. Alright. Rebecca. Um, I'd rather not. (laughs) Rose Barnett. Not quite. And Jax. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I hope you guys get off the island soon. You know, let us know when you're back. Let us know how that tan was developing. Yeah. Uh, next week, I guess you'll be at the airport. Yeah, probably on your way back. Honestly, I would be afraid of flying after that, though, so. We have to go back. We do. Um, Please don't. <laughs> anyway. Well, I guess that was uh, the old episode. Yeah, that was an episode. Well, thanks for having a cup of coffee with us. Yes, thank you. I hope we made your chores, your job, your whatever the hell you're doing right now a little bit better, funner, more interesting. Maybe. 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 (laughs) No, I don't like to put too much, you know. Stress. Stress, you know. Maybe we're not entertaining at all. And, you know, (laughs) we knew that. (laughs) All right. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go kill some more Sims. Oh, yeah, shit, that's what we're gonna go do. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.